discussion continues over the future of Vigo County High Schools. The community was once again invited inside one school for a tour ahead of tonight's school board meeting. News 10's Heather Good was there and joins us now with more from school officials about what happens next. Concerned citizens walk the halls of West Vigo High School to educate themselves as the school board considers ways to deal with deteriorating buildings. It's interesting to see how little has changed since I was in high school, which was a long time ago. Another group in another high school touring the halls, classrooms and beyond to see what needs fixing. Clearly there are roof problems and issues with pipes and, and that sort of thing, but I will say that it looks like the staff does a really, really good job taking care of things as best they can with the age of, of the building. Adults have been touring each of the three Vigo County high schools as discussions continue about what to do about the aging building. Things. With the last of the tours complete, school officials say they can move forward. I believe that the next steps that they will do is to develop a community committee at some point to just have good conversations about uh, the facilities overall, what's been going on, what they look like, what the future would be, and, uh, and then go over those four or five plans that we've had presented. Those options range from building new, combining schools, renovating, or a combination. Meanwhile, new research shows the student population district-wide will shrink by nearly 500 kids over the next five years and hundreds more by 2028. According to researchers, the decline is due to many factors, but mainly young adults moving away and starting families elsewhere. Tanu says this will be considered when picking the best option. That will come at a cost, but really the intent in my mind is, as I'm sure everybody wants, uh, is to have the best schools we can have. Tanu says a committee could be created in February with discussions lasting about six months. The school board will work with consultants to decide when they're ready to bring a plan up for a referendum.